today's video is going to be about Harry. I want to know if they're going to move house with all these floods in Montecito, you know, will that affect their house? Are they going to have to move house, buy something somewhere else? And then also, will he attend the coronation, which I've asked before, but we'll ask again. Maybe we'll ask again before May. So, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So don't you want to know? I mean, we've got the flooding uh, all around uh, California. People have had to move out of their homes in Montecito where their mansion is located a few times. And so I've got to be thinking now that they've got money in the bank, um, they are got to be looking around for another place. And, you know, their place increased in value once they moved into it. But I have to think, who's going to buy that mansion now? So will they be moving house and how will all these things affect it? Then, just a short draw on the coronation is he going to attend that's not saying will he be invited that's a whole other question but is he going to attend yeah we'll do that we're going to talk about harry so we know now that the book's out a lot more but let's don't ask about that stuff let's find out about his house you know so we've got the uh, floods in California. All the celebrities are desperate and are, I guess, trying to decide what they're going to do. And they've got multi, multi-million dollar mansions furnished with everything that they love. And um, Harry and Meghan um, have just started that life. And um, let's find out if, uh, if they're going to move house. If Harry and Meghan are going to move house. Um, I would. You know, he's flush with cash after the Netflix deal, 60 to $100 million, I think. And then, of course, he's got the $20 million deal for the book, plus three of the books are coming up. So, there you go. You know, years ago, I was uh, listening to a, um, a person who played a, a recurring role on a, a TV series. It was, uh, the TV series was Frasier, and the person, uh, the recurring role was Frasier's ex-wife, wife Lilith. And, but in her real life, she was having an interview and she was saying, oh yeah, those appearances on Frasier were great. It's like you go in, you um, recreate the character and then you get a check and you go buy a new Lexus. So here we are with Harry, $20 million deal. They paid less than that for that house and I'm sure they can you know, find another suitable place that's not in danger of being washed in the ocean for the um, cost of one of those uh, uh, that he got paid for that book, $20 million. So, Harry, is he going to move house? But before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. There we go. So regardless of where you fall on the Harry and the Royals uh, situation, this has to be curious for you. And then at the end of this, we'll talk about the coronation. And I've asked before in a previous video, and uh, I'm sure I'll do it again before. I think the coronation is in May, is that right? To look that up. But before the coronation, I'm sure we'll look at it again. But uh, And that's, uh, will he attend? And uh, so but the first thing, off right off the bat, is we want to know, is... Or will the Sussexes move house um, from their mansion in Montecito? Oh, that's interesting. A little crooked there. You know, I, like, I think I like to do that again. Will the Sussexes move house from Montecito? Um, six cards. One, two, three four, five, six. You know, I'm getting lots of things in my head asking me about um, 
if their home will be damaged by these uh, recent floods. And uh, so I hope that the cards will incorporate uh, that question uh, into the rest of this. So will the home be damaged? Uh, are they going to move? Um, maybe in a time frame. Uh, let's just see what happens with all of that. So the signifier card for this question, which is will, will um, Harry move house? That is justice. What does justice have to do with this? So, and it could be that the cards take us in a whole other direction completely, but justice. So justice is typically finding a balance, all right, uh, weighing the scales uh, with a blind uh, attitude towards um, who, who is presenting that information. Um, justice. Interesting. Let's see how the rest of this plays out. So the challenge to the signifier card as to whether Harry will move house and uh, we're also hoping we get some information as to whether their home will be damaged uh, with all this flooding. Is uh, So balancing the scales, justice, well, I can see that, kind of weighing your options as to, you know, we didn't get hit this time, but uh, we might get hit next time. Should we go ahead and get out of here? The challenge to this justice card as a signifier is eight of wands, everything's coming at you uh, at the same time at a rush. You know, So, yeah, this would suggest... Um, at least the fear of something happening, if not something having happened. So, will Harry move house, justice, balancing those scales, and <clears throat> challenged by this eight of wands, lots of issues coming at you. The basis of this thing is this four of cups, of course, uh, cups are uh, emotion. The four of cups is typically having to deal with something that you don't necessarily want to deal with, and I can imagine that a big... Uh, decision like this moving house where I guess they imagined this was the place they would raise their kids. I, they've even said that uh, is the answer to that. So this whole thing is balanced by an emotional not wanting to have to accept this emotional uh, cup that's being offered. Um, that makes sense actually. Uh, uh, we like our house. We don't want to move but maybe we need to. The past of this reading uh, for uh, when that might happen with the seven of wands Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Uh, this contemplative person just reminds me of Megan. I think she is uh, an avid uh, meditator. And of course, all these wands down here represent actions, uh, things happening. And the one wand here kind of gives this uh, person a handle on dealing with the other wands. So, yeah, this could be, um, you know, whatever other associations have to do with living in that house. And this is the one where they can take hold and make an action after careful thought. That's in the past of this situation, though. Interesting. So, uh, considering that this, uh, we're talking about right now, let's do that. We're talking about right now. So, they've come through a lot of these issues, and uh, they've settled on that meditative uh, hill, that space uh, of serenity, but they've got this one uh, wand uh, for action uh, available to them. So, interesting. In the sky of this reading, then, is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is exactly what I was saying. So the Nine of Pentacles is really the wealthy uh, person, really being flush with all the wealth that you need to get a thing done. And that's exactly where they are right now. They've come out of this situation uh, with the royals, uh, with money in the bank now. So they're at a point that they can do uh, something that they would have to do. And then the likely outcome of this as to whether the, um, uh, the Sussexes, Sussexes it's hard for me to say, will uh, move house is the Knight of Swords. You know, this comes up almost every time I use this deck for uh, for that couple. And this is always Harry, uh, for me, uh, running to uh, you know, jump on this his, his steed, in this case represented by this motorcycle, and get something done. So will they move house? I think maybe they will. This having been the final card. You know, the knight is the fighter of that uh, suite of swords. And the swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. So, yeah, this tells me that probably they will move house. Let's do uh, four more cards for this. Uh, and maybe this will give us a time frame. Give us, can you give us a time frame in these four cards? Or what can you tell us uh, about uh, them uh, moving house? Time frame, uh, what can you tell us about them a moving house and uh, you know they had this situation last year when the floods uh, uh, where they had to leave their house if I'm not mistaken and so it could be something that's already been on their minds and they maybe have been scouting so time frame for uh, if this is going to happen when it might be happen and the signifier card for that 
is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords are, are truth, justice, rules, and law. These people have nested in their home, which they certainly have, imbibed with love. And, uh, and so, but this card is significant of knowing when to hold off before you make a move. And we're talking about a move. So the signifier of this very question is knowing when to make that move. Uh, and that's uh, in the environment of what? In the environment of this three of wands, three of wands are long-term planning. So it would always be your uh, preference if you had to make a plan to plan for it in advance. So this nesting aspect, this aspect of having to wait before you make a move is in the environment of long-term plans. So yeah, I think this has been on their minds since the last interruption. And, uh, and maybe they did have in mind some long-term plans to eventually make this happen. But what are the hopes and the fears for that? The hopes and the fears for that are the hangman looking at a thing from a different perspective. Uh, so what could be their other perspective? Uh, can we shore the house up? Uh, can we um, uh, keep this home and use it as a vacation until it falls off the cliff? <laughs> a vacation property? I don't know. So uh, the hopes and the fears are this looking at this thing in another perspective, examining the issue that you've got from all sides. And the final outcome, will they move house and maybe win, is going to be right here. And that is this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles are value. Sometimes it's money. I think in this case it's all of those things. And it is. it represents um, generational uh, value, generational wealth. The likely outcome for this whole thing is that, yes, they are in a position where they can do uh, what they need to do. He has established that generational wealth. Okay. Still not an answer. One more card. This all addresses um, uh, the situation they're in. Let's read it again in totality. So will they move and then win? Uh, so the the signifier of this whole thing is getting a weight on the scales of how this uh, should be dealt with. And it's uh, challenged by all the issues uh, that have to uh, have had to deal with them being there and would have to deal with them moving from there. And in the uh, basis of this whole thing with this four cups is all those emotional issues and something being offered to you that you don't really want. And that would certainly be the emotional issue of having to move their family. The uh, uh, past of this with the Seven of Wands are all these uh, actions uh, that uh, preceded them being to the place they are right now of serenity, but with one wand left to um, make an action if they need to. And in the sky of this is that, yes, they have attained the financial stability that, that they needed to be able to take a breath and make decisions about their life. And then the likely outcome, though, the likely outcome, though, is Harry running to jump on as a knight, running to jump on that mode of transportation and um, and get a, get a get a move on. It says to me probably they're gonna move. But then the environment that that's in, that question, will they move and when? Really, when would they move? Well, the four of swords is really knowing when to take a break, study the situation before you make a move. And then it's in the um, environment of this three of wands, long term planning. I think maybe they've seen this coming and they've got this uh, tentatively in the works. And then the hopes of the fears of this is that they look at it from every possible angle to make a decision about what to do, how to do, what do you do with a property that's maybe unsellable. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that yes, they do have now the financial generational stability to lead their life in the way they see fit. And so, yeah, I think they're, they're seriously been considering a move, still seriously still considering a move with the comfort of knowing that they can do it comfortably if they have to and not have to take the charity of celebrities, which they had to do originally to get a breather to find a, a safe spot. And um, I think they're considering a move and I would say likely they're probably going to move. Now let's talk about the coronation. So will Harry attend the coronation? You know, we know that when the queen mum passed away that um, Megan was not welcome to be uh, at the bedside. But of course, uh, Catherine wasn't there at the bedside either. Of course, Megan wasn't even in the same country, so I think. So uh, the coronation, what's gonna happen with these two? Will Harry attend, wow, will Harry attend the 
coronation. Let's do three cards and see where that leads us. Three cards. Will Harry attend the coronation? One, two, three. Will Harry attend the coronation? We need more cards. We'll get them. Okay. Will Harry attend the coronation? First card is this Five of Cups. Oh, this is very appropriate. Five of Cups, again, are emotion and compassion and, um, you know, uh, heartfelt situations. And the Five of Cups is uh, having lost some of that uh, compassion, some of that emotion, but having a little bit left to carry on with. It's interesting here, you see that this person has kind of put their foot in it. And this emotion, this compassion is kind of draining down this uh, well, if you want to say that's what that is. But they've got a very full, nicely lit, look at the little surprises inside there, cup of compassion left right just behind them to deal with. So um, will he attend the coronation? This is some uh, ambiguity about that and recognizing uh, the emotional situation that it is. The next card for Will Harry attend the coronation. Ah, Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. Ace is a great big offer of that. Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. I'll come back and make a sentence out of this in a moment. Spiral Staircase, that sword really uh, pinpoint uh, striking at the center of that. And then the final card, this almost looks like Diana. I'm sorry. If you look at the, the profile of this person, the short cropped hair, this so much looks like Diana. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Diana. Truth, justice, rules, and law spiraling down that staircase. The sword really striking home. Interesting, Diana. And then the final card as to whether um, Harry will attend the coronation. Two of Swords is having to make a choice. If there's a choice to be made here, then that says to me that he will have a choice in the matter. So that suggests that he will be invited. So will Harry attend the coronation? There's a lot of introspection here regarding the emotional situation that it's in. Uh, uh, Mama is going to be on the mind. And uh, you have to remember that when he's attending that coronation, he's attending also the coronation of uh, the Queen Consort Camilla. Diana, and then having to make a choice, and it's a very troubled choice indeed. One more card, will Harry attend the coronation? Six of Wands is victory. Um, Six of Wands is uh, making um, some, some, some plans, making an action, and it's victorious. My, I want to say that he will attend and it'll be victorious, but I also want to say that he won't attend and that will be the victory. I will say that he'll attend. Let's see how it goes. And we'll draw on it as we get closer to the situation too. So, <laughs> let me know what you think. That's the answer. You know, we never know how it's going to come out, and, and those are the answers that we get. So I think we'll check back on this stuff a little bit later and to get an update because everything changes with what's going on in the world at the moment, really. Um, and let me know what you want me to read on because, heck, I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards. They're very beachy. They're very now. Uh, the container they come in is really nice. It has some nice thoughts inside. And um, the cards themselves and the guidebook, all of this is good. The, um, the guidebook, although it's not in color, it's readable and uh, it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh, interpret some of these cards. Of course, you know, the interpretation is very personal. So you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. 
like I always say, I love to uh, have someone, if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. Well. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.